Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about feeding systems for babies with acid reflux. Now, first of all, we have to talk about babies with acid reflux. Acid reflux just describes when the contents of the stomach wash back up into the esophagus. That turns out to be a very common and very normal physiologic process in babies, especially in newborns. If it makes you feel better, you can know that we've recently discovered that this process probably helps disseminate good bacteria throughout the airways so that those bacteria can sit there and fight off infections. So next time you're changing your baby's clothes or your own clothes because your baby spit up on you, know that there probably is a good reason that this is happening. That said, when reflux gets severe, when it becomes a problem due to excessive pain, poor feeding, chronic coughing or wheezing or airway congestion, then we have a problem we call gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. Now, one thing we try to do with GERD is to cut down the levels of stomach acid. We do this using medications. Usually we start with an antihistamine like ranitidine or Zantac. We'll often follow that up with a proton pump inhibitor like Prevacid or Lansoprazole. But we may also want to change the feeds. In a small number of these cases, some sort of food allergy is present. And the most common is an allergy against cow's milk protein. While we are all made to digest human milk perfectly, not all babies are ready for cow's milk or even soy milk proteins. So one thing that doctors may do for children who are formula fed is try a formula where that cow's milk protein has been broken up into smaller pieces. We call this a hydrolysate. Now there are several different types of hydrolyzed formulas. There's two kinds of protein, casein and whey. Some just have casein that's been broken down. Some have whey that's been broken down. Some have some combination. There's a bunch of choices and you can talk to your baby's doctor about which one they think is good to start with. Some of them may just go to a soy protein, but almost half of babies who have a milk protein allergy will also have a soy protein allergy. Now, if you're nursing, you may find that altering your diet to eliminate cow's milk or soy protein from your diet helps your baby as well. In formula-fed babies, we also want to reduce the size of the feed. How do we do that without cutting their calories? They need all those calories, right? So what we'll do is add rice cereal to the formula, usually in a ratio of one teaspoon of rice cereal uh, for every ounce of formula that you mix up. Now, don't use a kitchen teaspoon here. Use the measuring spoon that you use when you bake. That's a five milliliter measure, and that's really what we're talking about. The idea is you give about an ounce less of formula with each feed, but you have the same number of calories calories in the formula so you're not starving your baby. With less feeding in the stomach, there's less to wash up and hopefully less gastroesophageal reflux. If you're nursing, you can try shortening the feeds a little bit, putting them a little closer together again so the stomach doesn't get quite so full. Uh, additionally, you want to keep there from being pressure on the abdomen. You want to try and keep the baby in a somewhat upright position for 30 minutes or an hour after feeds. The good news with gastroesophageal reflux disease is, in general, it tends to improve as the baby gets older. There are certainly cases where it persists, but for the most part, time is on your side. So, if your baby seems to have gastroesophageal reflux disease, certainly talk to his or her healthcare provider about what you can do in terms of your own feeding and habits, and in terms of medications in some cases, to make that baby feel better. Talking about Feeding systems for your infant and gastroesophageal reflux disease, I'm Dr. David Hill.